Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm bare faced and we are ready for another full face Friday. Uh, today is going to be a low end brand but not nearly as low end as that shop Miss A. I definitely won't be able to keep this up for a super long time but I'm going to try to do this every other week give or take a little bit. So uh, we're going to go ahead and play the intro. So what I did today is I made a little purchase from BH Cosmetics. If y'all know makeup, you know BH is super affordable. It's not too bad. Um, and I've heard some really good things about some products I haven't tried. Now I have tried their collabs. You'll see me use this in this video. I know you've seen me use the It's My Ray Ray palette. And it's definitely a super solid palette that is for sure but what we are going to do today is take everything I can get to do a full face and go ahead and put it on and see how we think it performs so per usual we are going to start out they did not have any primers in stock when I ordered so I just put on one that I trust and we are going to start out with some BH liquid foundation and naturally flawless I do have a friend who swears by this and she uses it all the time and I'm gonna apply it with their beauty sponge uh, I figured <clears throat> well, I thought that would be fair to go ahead and use some of their tools as well this may be the only one I use because I don't have a whole lot of their tools I used to have a whole set but I don't know where it went because I've gotten so many brushes. I got those like two, three years ago. So I have no clue where they are. Before I forget, I'm dampening my sponge. Because everyone always clocks me on that. So the sponge is damp. Uh, I got the foundation in ivory. Apparently this is pretty popular because it was sold out in a whole lot of shades. Oh, I really should have opened this and pre-pumped. Okay, there we go. So I've got a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to take it straight with the sponge. I think it's going to be too light. But we're just going to roll with it and hope for the best. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this like I normally would. And just put it all over the face and speed through this because this is really boring. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I did it again and my foundation is way too light. But when I ordered... Eh, God, there's no in-between when I ordered they didn't really have a huge selection in stock and it was either be a little pasty or lie about my life completely so we're just gonna bring this down and turn into a ghost all the way around which is crazy because this used to be about the shade I would use but every time I get 20 minutes of sun I go like half a shade up which makes no sense but you know it doesn't take much when you're pasty to uh, get a little little color especially when you're super red all the time Okay, that's as close as we are getting. <laughs> so on the site, um, there wasn't any concealer in stock unless I wanted to go way too dark. And given how I already knew the foundation was probably going to turn out, I didn't. So 
I'm gonna cheat and put concealer on real quick. All right, guys, so this is what I've got, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and bronze the face up. I'm just gonna use uh, this section of the It's My Ray Ray palette where we have all the contours and highlights and wonderful things. I'm gonna use this middle shade to try and get me a little extra color going. Okay, so right off the bat, um, my exposure is so horrible, guys. I'm really sorry that this quality might be a little bit down because of this dang foundation. Right off the bat, it looks like almost everything that touches my face is moving this foundation, which is definitely not an upside. Um, I just put some contour on, and it looks like all through here, my foundation already started patching off just from that brush. And it was not like a heavy brush. It was really a super normal one. I don't know what's up with that. But I am going to go ahead and bounce around just a little bit. And I'm going to try to do my brows. And I got their HD brow pencil. It reminded me of Brow Wiz. Figured couldn't be too bad. Um, I got it in the color... Mmm. What color did I get it in? It doesn't say, but we're gonna hope it's the right one because it does not say what color it is. And I don't remember what I ordered, but it looks okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, so the brow pencil is not half bad. I figured out lately that honestly when it comes down to it, I'm not all that picky about my brow pencils as long as they're the right color. Um, I mean, I can make it work with just about any brow pencil, so that's not too big of a deal. Alrighty, and now I've got to make a lot of noise. Okay, so free with purchase, which is crazy. BH Cosmetics is incredible. Um, if you spent like X amount of money, you got a free palette with your purchase. And it's like a hefty palette. Um, it comes with, I don't know how many, three times seven, 21 shadows and five like blushy shades, I guess you would say. So I'm not going to use this for my eyeshadow, but I am going to go in with one of these two colors, maybe mixed for my blush, if I can find my blush brush. Oh, here we are. So I'm just going to mix these two colors right here and take those in for just a little pop of color right there. Um, unfortunately, there was also not any setting powder so sorry about the mess is probably my creasy under eyes or will be soon there was no solution for that so it just happens i am going to use this later though for a super affordable makeup tutorial because i think even when it's not like free gift that thing's like hella cheap and you know we like affordable around here so we're going to go ahead and highlight before we delve into the eyes and the lips. And for highlight, I'm going to mix together Radiant and Moonlight out of this palette. Because I don't want anything as crazy as Moonlight, but I think Radiant might be a little too dark for me. So we're just going to mix. It is, oh, oh, okay. Well, we're going to blend that down in a second. <laughs> that is so pigmented, y'all. This palette, I forgot. It's crazy. It's been a while since I did that video. I'm just going to use Moonlight for my nose and my Cupid's bow. 
Oh goodness, and take this sponge and kind of blend this down so it's not quite as insane as it is right now. Yeah, that helped a little. <laughs> so now we have got to get into the super fun part. And this is also the part where I zoom you in and I have no clue what the hell I'm doing. But we're going to go with it because I am in love with this palette and managed to snag it for like $11 because when they did their sale, they included this basically brand new palette and it was on sale. And it's gorgeous and I've seen incredible looks. So if you can't guess, we have got this weekend festival. I know I'm a thousand years behind. Here is what it looks like on the inside. It is super colorful. It looks really nice, like, I don't know, I'm excited. I've been waiting for this, because BH is shipping. Does take a little while, but I've been waiting on this baby to come in, because we're about to play. So we're gonna zoom in to where we can see my eyes just a little bit better. I'm not gonna give you all a crazy zoom like last time. And uh, yeah, we are gonna start by going in with candy right here it's kind of a peachy color and I think it's got the potential to be a very good transition shade it looks a little velvet but not like so velvet that it's gonna be shiny So I don't know, I don't know what I want to do. Guys, I have been staring at pictures of this palette forever and I still haven't decided what I want to do. So I think what's going to happen right now is I'm going to go into Palooza right here because the shade speaks to me. And it's going to go all over the crease and it's probably going to look crazy. But that's okay because everybody needs a little bit of crazy in their life. Okay, so that blended out. It's definitely pigmented and even mixed with that peachy color, it still maintained that it is blue, that's for sure. So now I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of, I'm going to take a little bit of Trance right here and I'm just going to pop this <clears throat> into the outer corner to deepen up what I have so far. I'm going to try to be careful, but I'm promising nothing. <laughs> And then what I want to do is go ahead and take Dippy because of course this one speaks to me too. Y'all know how I feel about my pinks. And I'm going to take it on this baby brush and put it in the lower lash line. All right, and now I'm gonna take a little bit of Trixie right here, and I'm gonna take it on a smaller brush and just put this in my brow bone right up here. And this is a trick I haven't done in a little while, but it will diffuse any situations you got going on. If you didn't blend well around your edges, it'll kind of uh, take away how drastic that looks. And can I just say, I'm so glad they put a stinking mirror in here. I feel like they hardly ever put mirrors in like their palettes that aren't like collabs. So happy. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut a crease and then I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so aside from just this palette, which I hate to already be done with it, 
but I promise y'all will get more later. Um, I also got these Loose Dazzling Diamond Dazzlers. And these are, oh, they are straight loose pigment. Okay, so this is like a loose glitter. It comes out of here. We are about to see how loose this glitter really is. And what kind of look I can get using it. And if I have to, oh, if I'm going to end up having to use glitter glue, probably the answer is going to be yes, if I had to guess right now okay <clears throat> so this definitely requires glitter glue which I don't see y'all my table is such a disaster I'm not exaggerating in the slightest okay so pardon me <laughs> while I go look for some glitter glue Okay, so I have glitter glue on now, and we are going to try this again and see if it'll work a little bit better now. It already looks promising. It is sticking much better and giving me a more foiled effect. But I feel like I'm having to use like so much of it just to get like half my eyelid covered and this is crazy that's a lot and this isn't like it's not glitter it's just foiled I don't understand why I have to use glitter glue but I guess looking back now I remember seeing glitter glue as an option really close to this product and I was like Psh, I don't need that I'll just wet it and it'll work. I lied to myself. I also lied when I said this color combo was going to be cute, but who's counting? Okay, so I'm going to go back over with the same little brush that has all the blue on it and just kind of fluff and blend this together a little more. Nothing too heavy though just so it's not quite as choppy as it most definitely is right now. This is bad, guys. This is really bad. It's almost like mission abort bad, but I'm really stubborn. Can y'all hear that? That's a telemarketer calling. <laughs> Gotta tell these people I'm filming. Don't call me later. Okay, and I'm gonna fluff this out down here just with a brush with a little extra product left on it just to fluff out this lower lash line a little bit so it's a little more smoky because I already look crazy so what could a little more hurt it'll be fine and then I'm gonna take I'm gonna take spirit this looks like it's got kind of a lavender reflect but it's shiny on my small little brush and pop this in my inner corner just like so okay I can live with it this eyeshadow is definitely different we have got the thing that fixes everything. Uh, now where's that? Oh my god. Okay, now we have the thing that fixes everything. We have got liquid eyeliner because if nothing else can fix this, liner can. <laughs> and probably some serious mascara. So, we are going to take this. It is just your standard liquid liner not doing a wing because I'm not destroying it completely but we're just going to take this liner and just line straight through here I actually really like the tip on this like it's firm but not like crazy and it's super easy to get the line I want I like that. I can dig it. 
Y'all, my one little wrinkly eye just doesn't want to act right. It's cool, though. Oh, okay. We're going to call that close enough. Um, from what I could tell, BH Cosmetics does not have... Oh my god, I got fallout all the way down to my lips. Does not have a mascara. Check me if I'm wrong. Maybe it was out of stock. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. But I'm just going to take an unnamed mascara and be right back. <laughs> Alright guys, so the eye look is done. It's definitely questionable, but um, we have one more thing left to do. I swear to goodness, it was just in my hand. Here it is. Ah, ignore me. Really, it's fine. I won't get offended. I know I'm crazy. It's okay. So I have got a BH Cosmetics Liquid Lip in the color Muse. Now we are going to use this today. At a later date, you will get a wear test Tuesday. Probably with this exact same lipstick. Because the girl be broke and I won't have to go buy another one. So you'll probably get one later. But I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. Okay guys, so this is done. Uh, my lighting is still acting up because my foundation is so light. Freaking ridiculous. But this is our final look on the eyes. We use the Festival palette everywhere except for the shimmer on the lid. And I do, I have conflicted feelings and I hope I figure them out because I bought three. Um, these are really nice. Like this glitter is super pretty. It's very foiled. Uh, if you have a little glitter glue, it's perfect. If you just try to apply it wet, it's not really going to stick. But it did blend in with my eyeshadow super good, so mm, I think it's winning. This has kind of got like a almost greenish pull to it, which I didn't expect. I thought it was closer to silver looking like right here it looked more silver but it's really got kind of an olive green pool i don't know it's pretty though and then there's a rose gold and a regular gold and there's another one that i didn't get i think it was i don't know it was something but we're gonna go through product by product so the foundation has some pretty decent coverage i got the wrong shade like i always get the wrong shade so I won't criticize it there, but it does seem like anytime I layered anything on top of it, it kind of shifted a little bit. Maybe I'm being too heavy. I don't know. I'm applying everything like usual, but besides the point, it does have a nice coverage. Um, if you're going to apply a lot of stuff on top of it, it might shift around a little bit, but at the same time, the foundation is only like the eight dollars or something and if you catch it on sale which they're always on sale i think i got it for like five so it's not expensive and it's pretty good um didn't have a concealer i'm guessing it's amazing though because almost every single shade was sold out like i'm way too pale for any of the shades they had left they had a few but it was like the tenth shade down was all sold out so wasn't happening so I'm guessing that's really good <laughs> y'all already know I adore this palette it's incredible the blushes in here were super nice we're gonna go a little more in depth with this later on um, I might try to do like a full ish face with just that one palette I don't know yet we're gonna see but it was pretty nice um, Hmm. The eyebrow pencil was definitely easy to work with. It's a lot like Brow Wiz, Micro Brow, that kind of feel. It has a spoolie, always wonderful, and it was pretty stinking cheap too. Um, this palette is beautiful. I'm going to play with it more. Um, I'll probably do a tutorial on it later where I specifically only use this. 
Um, and I'll also probably post some looks on my Instagram. We shall see. Uh, but I love that. It's gorgeous. I've had my eyes on it forever. These are good. Just be sure you got some glitter glue. Um, hmm. The lippy feels nice. We're going to do an all day wear test probably in a few weeks on this one. I have a drawer of lippies waiting to be posted every Tuesday. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think, is that everything I used? Oh, the eyeliner. This. We're going to see how this wears, or I'm going to see how this wears, but this I really might be reaching for because this was so easy to apply. Like, I really like this. I don't know. I like it a lot. But I'm going to go ahead and set this hot mess in. And I did get some lashes. But I can show you why I didn't use them. Sounds like they may have come with some glue. Uh, these are so, I swear to goodness, I didn't think I got dramatic lashes, but apparently I did. And you guys know that with my hooded eyes, um, lashes that dramatic just ain't gonna roll. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that's why we just put on some random mascara and called it a day. But uh, yeah, so this is all you know a little questionable just because I'm not sure how I feel about the foundation and I feel like the rest of my face makeup layered a little weird over it like I know I love the contour and highlight in here but it doesn't look like what I loved on my face right now and I've used it before and it was incredible so I think it's just this foundation I think maybe it doesn't mesh well with me combined with it being way too light to really cover anything up for me anyways which I'll probably go in and order okay so I might get another lipstick and go in and order this like a shade darker and see what happens because this is definitely way too light and that's so weird because never in my life have this many foundations been too light for me crazy they're always too dark but now they are too light <laughs> So yeah, um, that is everything overall. I think BH is a great brand. It's super affordable. Fun fact, uh, when I started getting into makeup, it was probably like three years ago, maybe two, like my first brush set and my first ever palette, I ordered them at one time and they both came from BH Cosmetics because I knew nothing about makeup. I just wanted a palette. I had never bought anything that wasn't like from Walmart. So I ordered those online. That was the first thing I ever had. I used the hell out of those brushes and I used that palette all the time back in the day. So I have a lot of respect for BH. That's really where my love for makeup kind of started um, was just with their palettes. And then I quickly morphed over into Urban Decay and all kinds of stuff. But BH is where it really all started. So I mean, I have to give them props. <clears throat> they make makeup that is super affordable. They are so stepping their game up because their stuff is getting cuter every time I look at it, I swear. Um, and yeah, I mean, they're just an overall really good brand. Um, shipping does take a while if anyone's curious about that, but I mean, the stuff is super affordable. Shipping, you can get free shipping, I think at like 50, but shipping is not too expensive anyways. So I mean, it just takes a second to get it in, but uh, yeah. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my second full face video. I have another one already ready and in a little bin, ready to go hopefully for next week, maybe the week after. So yeah, <clears throat> that is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye you guys.